For years, the best advice for error tracking in Elixir was to just use Sentry. While it's a great product and has a generous free tier, not sponsored, there are benefits to minimizing the number of data subprocessors in your applications. That's why I'm so excited that a group out of Spain just launched a very interesting Elixir package for capturing and viewing errors. Naturally, it's called Error Tracker, and it comes with integrations for Plug, Phoenix, and Oban out of the box. If your Elixir application uses Postgres, you should definitely check it out. I'll show you how I set it up in one of my demo apps and walk through the highlights. Stick around, this is code and stuff. As always, all of the code from this project is available on GitHub with the link in the description. I've been working on an open source application for security teams called OpenCSP. It's a pretty fresh Phoenix Live View app without many dependencies, and I think it's the perfect demo for Error Tracker. So I intentionally added a few problems. On my demo branch, the home page crashes about 10% of the time. And there's a filter button over here that raises an exception anytime that you click it. Luckily, Error Tracker is really simple to set up, and those instructions are in detail on the hex doc page. So first, I went to mix.exs and installed the error tracker library. Then I added a new migration file and just proxied out to their migration module. Finally, in my router up at the top, I added the integrations.plug use statement up here. This registered the plug middleware that is necessary to capture errors. When I click my crash button or hit the failed home page, database insertions occur. And this is Error Tracker in action, cataloging the error in Postgres for later browsing and eventual resolution. To actually see the errors, I ran one more use statement, this time on the error tracker.web module, pulling in the router integration. And that pulled in a macro called error tracker dashboard that will register slash errors in any scope where you install it. So in my case, I'm just running it on the dev server and it'll be available at slash dev slash errors on the web page. If I open it up in my browser, I can see two errors with all of their occurrences. And when I'm confident that an error has been resolved, I can hit the resolve button. If the error comes back, maybe I'll run that crash again then it will be moved automatically back to unresolved. By clicking into an error, the details of each occurrence are made available. It's possible to collapse the stack trace to only show your own application's errors, if that's helpful for you. And you can also see the context information that was captured along the way. It is possible to manually add some context, but I found that there's quite a lot that's already captured, especially with plug errors. My demo app doesn't use Oban, but if it did, any errors encountered would be automatically captured. This is because Error Tracker taps into the standard telemetry library to detect errors. If you're looking for a full Sentry replacement, Error Tracker isn't quite there. But considering that this package was first released in the last few days, it's quite promising. Go show your support to the Error Tracker project on GitHub by giving it a star and looking for opportunities to contribute. This has been Code and Stuff. Thanks for watching.